Well, morning guys. Just look at this for a view from a hotel room. Wow. How about that, guys? Eric Booser's Mystery European Chore, eh? Look where we've ended up. Fantastic. See that beautiful waterfall? There's another one over there. Look, can you see that? This is the hotel I'm staying in. But they own the building next to it, which is this one. And it's just... A stunning little place. I'm going to walk you around it, see what you think of it, guys. I'll catch you in a minute. All right, we're standing outside now, guys. And, um, wow. It's a bit drizzly. Oh, there's another waterfall. This is the one I'm staying in. But this is the hotel, but they own this, this one as well. So look at that, fantastic. I'm hoping the weather's gonna get a bit better, but um, I think it's gonna be one of those drizzly days today. So I don't know if we're gonna go up a chairlift or not. But, uh, whoa, look at that for a backdrop. Christ, there's a cave there. I don't know if you can see that right at the top. Wow. Right, as I was saying, um, fantastic view, look at that, it goes straight up there, but that's absolutely nothing because it goes up and up and up, what you can't see, to thir over 13,600 feet because up there is the Eiger and Jungfrau. And everyone's heard of the Eiger, haven't you? Well, it's up there, but you can't see because it goes just up and up and up. So that's just a nothing at the moment. So uh, let's go and have a look, and as you can see, look at those snow, <laughs> the snow on the mountains there, and you can't see the top of those because it just goes up and up. So cool. So we're staying here. Fantastic. I'm going to let you sh see the uh, see the river. There we go, guys. Look at that. That's a beautiful river. It's a bit murky, but then it's white water murky. Right guys, well I don't know what we're going to do today, but um, it's just awesome. Just just walking around here but I want to go up there but do I chance it because that's just the first lift it just goes up and up and up but I suppose I might be able to just do the first lift and have a walk up there on Merrim there's a village up there that you can only get to by cable car because no cars are allowed up there um, but we'll, we'll see what happens by the way we are in Switzerland <laughs> I've just I don't know if I've mentioned the fact but um, Here's one for you, Rex, look. In Switzerland, these things are everywhere. Um, and I bet you'd like one of these, wouldn't you? Hey? Look at that, it's a Mercedes. I don't know if, perhaps you don't get them in Canada, I don't know. But they're the staple diet of the mountains in Switzerland. Um, they're the workhorse Land Rover of Switzerland. There you go, look. <laughs> it's like a Land Rover, look. Everything's all manual and um, probably unbreakable 4x4. Four four. If they use them here, they could probably go anywhere. But you only see them here. That I've ever seen anyway. There you go. Anyway. Let's have a walk around. I'll, I'll probably just do some hiking today, I don't know. We'll see. Because this is where we are. We're just uh, in Sketchelberg. All right, okay, and as you can see, it's surrounded by the most magnificent mountains in Switzerland, and there we go. So we've got the, um, well, it's in, it's in a foreign language, so I don't know, but we obviously would call that the 
the Matterhorn, I would think. Yeah. No, it's the Eiger. Sorry. Right. Oh, here we go. Look. What we've got here is we're down here. And that sheer face that you saw is probably that first bit there, I should imagine. And there's the Eiger. 13,025 feet. The Monarch. Then the Jungfrau. But we're there at the moment. Um, we're still 2,985 feet up. Well, that surprises me. I thought we were on ground level. <laughs> oh dear. What do I know? Hello, little barley lambs. No, you wouldn't guess it, would you? Guess what happened to me? You know I'm no good with keys, don't you? Me? Eh? Well, I've lost my bloody car keys. It's a good job I've got another set. But um, anyway, I've lost most of the day because I've been hunting for them. But look at that for a waterfall. Look at that. Should we go underneath it? Yeah? Let's do it. Yeah, we're going to go up there in a minute. Stand underneath that waterfall. Because you can walk through some rocks and go there. But I want to show you this, look. This is your typical Swiss, Swiss um, graveyard, look. I mean, not only is it awesomely pretty here, as you can see, as I do a pan round. It's stunning, isn't it? But look, it's immaculate. It makes us in England, and I don't know anywhere else around the world, ought to be ashamed of ourselves. It is stunning. It's like a pretty picture garden. Not that I'm religious or anything, guys, but I mean... That's just unreal. Anyway, what's the word I'm looking for? Over and under, up and onward, something like that. Let's get going anyway. Oh my God. It's a complete washout today, I know, but I think I'm gonna get wet under that waterfall. <laughs> By the look of it. Oh, it's up a bit yet. Yeah. yeah, cool. Right, guys, we've come to the end. Now let's have a look. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do today. It's obviously not worth going up any mountains today because it's the weather's just shocking, really, basically. But um, I've got my Gore Tex stuff on, so I'm not getting wet. So just enjoy the scenery. Anyway, let's get back down. There's the waterfall, look. And we thought, beans, it's a bit rainy. We'll have a look round. This place is called Latinbrow or Lutonbrow or something like that. So uh, we're going to have a look around, see what the shops are like and stuff like that. But I've got a funny feeling, this is just low-lying cloud, I think. Once you get above this cloud, it might be worth going back above there. You know, 9,000 feet is the one I want to go up. It just might be clear up there, you just don't know with Switzerland. I don't know. We'll see what it's like later. Right, we're down into the lakes now. I don't know if you can hear me, but I think there's going to be a, a storm brewing up. It's getting very windy, but um, we've dropped down from the mountains because it's just bloody wet weather. Because um, we was up there, look. You can see what it's like. So we've just dropped down here onto the lake. Although it's windy as hell, um, it's nice and sunny. So I'm going to nip into Interlaken and maybe get the old scooter out. I've got to get some petrol for it first. 